Hello? Would I like to upgrade my cell phone? No, 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 no. I just paid this sucker off. Yeah, it's about eight hundred dollars. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Galaxy S7 Edge. Oh, you had the new eight out. Oh, I heard about those. It has all sorts of new technologies that you guys innovated. Oh yeah, I like it. I will. Oh yeah. Is it free? Oh no, but you can finance it at zero percent interest. Am I interested? No, not at this time. Uh, I, I, I'll just wait. I'm just waiting. Oh, okay. When when are they gonna stop supporting the Galaxy S7 with updates? Oh, and probably until you get to Galaxy S10. All right, then I guess I'll keep it till then. Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. Upgrading your smartphone is it a good decision? Is it a bad decision? Bad decision. Bad decision. Bad decision, unless you have the Galaxy S4 or the Galaxy S5, then you could probably say, well, I'm well outdated when it comes to technology. But I assure you that some of you still have the Galaxy S5. And by all means, Ross World, it's still a great phone and don't trade it in until that sucker breaks, okay? Listen, if your cell phone provider calls you, emails you, texts you, offer you some sort of upgrade with it for a line or for a cell phone, don't do it. Yes, you want a new smartphone. Why? Oh, it has the face recognition. Oh, it has a bigger fingerprint. Oh, it's a bezel-less phone. Oh, it has telephonic lens. Oh, the camera is much, much, much updated. Oh, it has dual cameras. Oh, the flash is fast. It's slow motion. Have all these great options, okay? Yada, yada, yada. I got it. But listen, you're paying for it. You're going to spend $800 to $1,000, depending on what phone you get. Is that a good investment? Let me show you something. If I drop my phone, and some of you about to drop, hold your breath, if I drop my phone and a screen break, is it covered? Are they gonna fix it? Maybe, maybe not, in case of you are insuring. And sometimes you still have to pay a what? A deductible. So I really want you to understand this, Ross World. Do not upgrade your smartphone unless it is broken, unless it is a brick, unless it does not work anymore. It's just not cost effective. Use that $800, use that $1,000, use that $32 or $27 or them weird prices they give you that you pay every month for your smartphone. Invest it. Invest it into Stash, link in the description. Invest in different portfolios. Buy some stocks on Robinhood. Put it in a high yield savings account, but just don't go out and blow your money because you simply want a new smartphone. Oh, well, I can split the screen. Listen, turn your phone sideways and put your hand in the middle. I don't care. Think of something else. Don't go out and spend all your hardworking money on a new smartphone because all your friends have them. And it doesn't matter if you have a Galaxy, you know, a, a Droid or, or, or iPhone. It doesn't matter. The operating system, the company is LT, uh, LG or LTC, or LTC, HTC. It doesn't matter. It, Google Pixel. It doesn't matter the phone. Don't go spend your money when you have a working smartphone that most of us do what? We be on Snap. We be on Facebook. We be on Twitter. We be on YouTube. We text. We video call. And we make calls sometimes because people don't call no goddamn more. Don't, don't, don't you hate when somebody texts you all day and then when you call them, they don't answer the phone. Then they text you back. You're like, dude, I just called you. Oh, yeah, man, I was busy. But you had the audacity to text me right back and tell me you was busy. But when they say they are busy, they're really not doing anything. They just don't want to talk. Rude, right? Now, granted, it's their choice. But I'm a little old school. Please talk to me because this damn text... <laughs> 
Okay, this damn text communication bull crap back and forth for an hour, it's a five minute conversation. I'm off of it. But anyway, smartphones. Some of you are using your smartphones for a numerous of things. Like I, we bank on our smartphones. We buy particular things on our smartphones. So that's why I said, if you have some uh, uh, iPhone 5 or Galaxy 5 and above, you have a great smartphone. You have a great smartphone. You can essentially do everything that everybody else is doing, except with all those little perks. Oh, the camera is now 4K, even though the Galaxy S7 Edge has 4K. I actually use that when I travel with my little selfie stick. Side note, but the point I'm making is this. Every time a new damn cell phone go out, don't mean you gotta go run and go get it. Oh, I'm gonna stand in line at Best Buy and wait for this smartphone because I wanna spend all the money that I make on a smartphone that when I break, I'm gonna cry because the screen is cracked and I have to go get another smartphone. No, listen, listen. If you wanna spend your money on a new smartphone, <laughs> let, give it to me. Send me the money and I'll send you a smartphone. You like, well, what type of smartphone I'm gonna get? Uh, you're gonna get the smartphone I'm gonna send you. It's gonna be one of those little burner phones. It's real smart. After you use it, you can go on the internet with it and you can text. Remember the three button text? You can go A, B, C. Damn, I miss C. I gotta go back to A and go back to B. A, B, there it is. Smart. Listen, those phones are smarter than the smartphone you had. You're like, that don't make no damn sense. Mine has a virtual uh, keyboard on it. Well, what button you know you pass three times, you got three options on a smartphone. I'm just kidding, guys. Listen, I'm off of that. But the point I'm trying to make here is this. If it's not broke, don't fix it. If your smartphone is not broke and it's functioning, then don't fix it. Now, this is the last thing I gotta say about this damn smartphone, guys. I'm tired of you saying, well, the reason why I'm getting a new smartphone is because mine is acting up. Okay, when I look at your smartphone, you have 50,000 apps. You have 95,000 windows open. You remember the little button on the Android you hit and it cascades all the windows? Close them goddamn windows and uninstall some of them goddamn 100,000 apps. And then your phone, will run at optimal level, okay? And how about this? Uh, let the cell phone rest, let it rest. You put it on the charger for it to charge, but you keep picking up the cell phone doing like this, like let it rest for an hour. Last but not least, if it's running slow, then reset it back to factory settings and start off clean and your smartphone will be working like new. This is not a tutorial for smartphones. This is a tutorial to save your hard working money that you have been working your ass off for and you about to go spend it on a phone that when it falls, it's gonna break because they made out of glass now anyway. This is Ross World where we invest, we save, we budget, and we get out of debt and getting in debt with a smartphone. The phone is smart, but your ass is dumb. I'm out.